Smith like you? <laughs> yeah, that's my guy. It's like one of my best friends on the team. He loves me. I call him malicious for a reason. That's my guy. I made that made that nickname, and he he likes it. He just acts like he doesn't. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he's a good actor, though. Oh yeah, no, no. He's he's a he's a funny guy. I love him, man. And we go fishing all the time, so it's fun. How much uh, feedback do you get from those blogs that you do? Just walking around campus, and you're, I'm yeah. sure your teammates too, like everybody. How yeah. Much, how much feedback do you get? Yeah, a lot of the guys like it. Um, some guys are chemistry, so I don't get them on there. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of, I'd say 99% of the team likes to be on the camera. They want to get the acknowledgement. They'll even like, they'll send me pictures of their like TV setup of them watching the vlog mm -hmm. and everything. So it's it's always it's always fun yeah, to see it. Um, and it's great to display the guy's personality and what we have in the locker room. I feel like it's truly special. I've been part of uh, multiple locker rooms, and this one's definitely special. So. Is a quarterback like being on your squad? <laughs> uh, he acts like he doesn't like yeah. it, but he likes it too. <laughs> right. So he, he'll he he'll just say, get the camera away from me, because he's a little camera shy, you know. But uh, it, I've, it's kind of weird, because the dude plays in front of like 90,000 people at home, and then is camera shy on camera, so it's funny. How, how big was that for you guys when he announced what, what, just the momentum with yeah. him coming back, and what that means. I mean, I know you got a game still left to play, yeah. but thinking about 2023 FSU and the, and the excitement that that announcement and you guys' announcements brought to this yeah. program. Yeah, so I, I definitely knew about him coming back before, like, a lot of people knew. Um, he told me told me pretty early because I was already on the blog. Right? It, it, well, I didn't want to leak him. So, you know, <laughs> uh, it's, it's his, it's his uh, acknowledgement and his work that he's put in. So I let him do that. But, um, it, it, it was great. The momentum is the momentum is there. Uh, we know what we're capable of doing. We believe in Coach Norvell leading us, and uh, we believe in Jay Trav too, and what he's capable of doing. I mean, people seen it now, and the things I was talking about um, in the beginning of the season. And so I'm just proud of him, I'm proud of the way he's playing, and proud of this team. Yeah, you mentioned you know you decide he decided fairly early on. He let you know. When did you decide that you wanted to come back? Um, mm -hmm. Or is that, or is that something just automatic for you? Um, I decided. Well, I definitely knew I wanted to stay to college for college for another year. So um, I was just talking with uh, coaches and seeing how, how I was feeling and stuff, and seeing where I was at. You know, agents hit you up and tell you drafts. Um, projections and obviously I didn't really appreciate mine so um, definitely decided to come back and um, and display what I can do on the on the football field and um, go out there and just compete and uh, have a better year than I did this year. What was your draft projection if you want to say that? Um, they told me like fifth, sixth and then um, uh, if, if it wasn't going to happen in fifth or sixth I was definitely going to get picked up on a team and go out there. They love me at a uh, return game and they love the way I block and um, my sure hands and stuff like that. Yeah. Is it good at that point? You have got your dad, you got your brother, you got people you trust, you can give you good advice. Yeah, um, yeah. So my dad, my dad was speaking with the agent. I don't like speaking with agents. I just like to play football. So um, it's definitely nice to hear that I'm being acknowledged. You know, in the on the next level. Um, but definitely not the goals that I'm wanting to you know achieve. So um, I definitely, I definitely got to work harder and go out there and. Um, display uh, my ability and stuff like that. So. What can you guys accomplish next year? Uh, national championship. I mean, there's really no hesitation for that for me. Um, I just believe in the guys. I believe this team is better than a 9-3 team. We just had slip-ups every now and then, and we kind of bit ourselves in the foot a lot. Um, but, you know, um, not, if, if we don't win a national championship or we don't compete for a national championship, then that season is definitely not an accomplished season for us. So, yeah. What are you – because they got portal kids on campus this week. Yeah. On, on visits. I don't know if you're talking to these guys or if they're asking you questions. What do you tell them? Because I would think the Florida State you joined last year isn't yeah. the Florida State these guys are looking at. You yeah. know what I mean, they were coming off five and seven. Now it's nine yes. and three. So yeah. what, what are they asking you or what would you tell them about joining Florida State? Yeah, um, I would just say Florida State is a family environment. These guys bring you in with open arms. You know, um, there's not much, there's no hate here, honestly. I can't say there's not much, but. Um, and people are here to just welcome you in open arms, like I said, and Coach Norvell is going to coach you hard. I mean, if you're not going to be coachable and not going to be a guy that can listen and want to progress in your game, then Florida State isn't for you. But if you want to be pushed hard and you want to you want to go out there and, and lose weight, is he talking trash over there? I don't know. Yeah, he probably, he probably is. Sorry. But uh, but it's, it's great. Um, 
It's great being here, um, and I would say the coaches truly care about you, and you're n not only on the field but off the field too. And, um, they want to see you win, um, and it's just great to be part of the program. Do you have to be like a little bit selfless too, especially in this offense? Yeah. They're just not. I mean, I think Johnny led y'all with like 30 catches. Yeah. It's just the ball gets spread around. Yeah. Trey had 116 carries. Yeah. 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 It's. I've learned a lot being here, um, being selfless, um, being genuinely happy for my teammates when they succeed. Um, and so, it, 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 you know, it's hard. You know, you're, you're a receiver who busts your butt off every single day and you want to get the ball. And uh, then it kind of gets you in the mood. And, you know, football football has uh, high emotions and stuff like that. So uh, uh, being, uh, being understanding that uh, everyone's going to eat and uh, just appreciating the time when your time comes. and executing when you get the opportunity. So, yeah. Two more. Awesome.